You might have used the company's products, but you've probably never heard of Flex. The electronic contract manufacturer produces everything from hair dryers, ventilators to autonomous driving systems, and counts Apple, Dyson, and Ford as its customers. Since the pandemic hit, the company had to cope with waves of factory closures and supply chain constraints. And the person steering it through all that had less than a year on the job. Rivathi, thank you so much for talking to me. You know, Rivathi, less than a year after becoming CEO of Flex, you came face to face with an unprecedented pandemic. When you look back, did you ever imagine the scale of disruption it would have on your global manufacturing operations? Oh, no, absolutely not. You know, Christine, I remember in 2020, January, when I first heard the term coronavirus, you know, I thought, well, what is this? We thought it's another kind of new strain of, you know, like a bird flu type of virus. And really, we had dealt with those types of things before, but nobody imagined that we would wake up in, you know, February of 2020 and end up with this health and humanitarian crisis, right, more than anything else. And uh, it has been kind of the most defining moment of the last 30 years of my life. And uh, for us being a company of people, um, this has been kind of the biggest crisis that we've been going through. So, Christine, I would definitely say somebody told me that I've experienced more in two years as a CEO versus what he has experienced in seven years. So I don't know if I want to take that as a compliment or what. Those critical products that you made, was it a challenge making it at the scale that you needed to fight the virus? Well, absolutely, because, you know, I don't think I even knew what a ventilator was till, you know, till, till the, uh, the pandemic broke. And the ventilator was the most important thing that anybody could make. And, you know, until then, I think the global production of ventilators was like 40, 50,000 annually. And then we needed kind of 40, 50,000 that month. And so we had to scale up factories, medical factories, which usually takes two or three years for approval. And we had to do it remotely, right? We were shipping uh, equipment in, you know, in large planes across the world, trying to bring it, bring it to different factories. We're remotely approving, um, you know, these products to get FDA certified before we're able to ship them out. So we learned how to do ventilators and oxygen concentrators and all those products remotely, qualifying them, ramping them up in many facilities across the world. Um, and it was a very, very difficult process. What typically takes two years, we were doing in less than two months. 